So, I mean, I, I would just say that, it, you know, SaaS is the future model. So if you're not on SaaS today, um, you know, you're, you're, you know, you can get there quickly. That's the good news, but you, you know, you're behind. So again, back to models and psychology. So if we look at that as an MMA model, you know, the reason why I think that it, it, it broke down um, isn't even that it was wrong. Like when I think about wrong, like I don't see it as being disingenuous. I don't see it as being like bad for the business owner. I just think it's, it's on its face. It seems super logical. Like, listen, I'm going to have you give me $2,000 a month. And in return, I'm going to give you back greater than $2,000 of value, right? And I think that's actually what good SMMA businesses do. But the underlying customer, the consumer, they are not set up to, to accept that level for, for any, any service provided by any human. In fact, I used to ask people all the time, listen, for your customers, what human being, because you're a human being, do they pay outside of their organization the amount of money you charge them every month forever? Like just name another vendor, right? And the answer is always the same. Nobody, zero, zilch, nada, right? So what does that mean? That means you are the, not only do you charge them in their mind quite a bit of money, you are also, you're doing it in perpetuity. So every month when they sit down and they look at the books and they look at the expenses, they say, wait a second, hold on, this, like, I, I saw a new Mercedes, it's 800 bucks a month. If I just cut this Yahoo, I get my Mercedes. And that's exactly how you get chopped. Because they can't, about yeah, it's exactly, it's a psychological issue. It really is. Like, because I think at the end of the day, they don't have the capacity. Because remember, you're the expert, right? You understand just what I described with AdWords. Like, you got to have the landing page. You got to have the copy. You got to have the call to action. Have the, they don't understand any of that stuff, Right. They don't understand also, they can't equate you with money. It's very hard for them to see the revenue connection. It just makes you super vulnerable. So now, how do you fix that problem? Well, think about things that they also can't associate revenue with that they keep forever, like their power bill or their internet bill or you know all their kinds website. of things, their utility, yeah. right? So what you need to do is if, if they sort by total amount paid, you want to come down way down here. You don't want to be way up here. And at first you're like, well, wait a second, but I thought that makes me a lot less money. And they're like, no, 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 no. But here's why. On your SMMA $2,000 a month deal, you're lasting four months if you're lucky, right? If you're lucky. We want you to if last you're lucky. four years. Exactly. Yeah. We want you to last four years, not four months. And we want to, and, and then also the other problem is the profit margin. So on one hand, I just said that the business owner thinks it's expensive. But on the other hand, you're saying, wait, but I kill myself to make these ads. I'm always constantly updating them and changing the targeting and this and this and this and this. And that's the point. Price yeah. to value for you isn't there. So we need to change the model. And that's what Uphex, I think, does a great job of. I think you're right. So at the end of the day, I think it's it's trying to figure out how do I give people what it is they want at a price that they're willing to say yes to. Yeah. And I think where the hangup comes is... Uh, it, you know, you have to look at what success means to you versus them. So I think success to an agency means I'm going to do everything I could ever imagine in the whole entire universe to make this person happy or to do a great job for them. But that's not necessary. And frankly, they're just not willing to pay for it. What is important is that you make an ROI positive outcome for them. And ROI positive just means that for the amount of money they give you, they make more. And I think this is where something like Upex is so critical, where it's you can take a essentially a Facebook ad and you can give it to them in a way where they can get it online, get leads, get money, get value, but not pay $2,000 a month, which they're not going to pay anyways. They don't want to pay, but instead they can pay $300 a month and be really pumped about it because now they can say, I, I have Facebook ads, right? They want to check that box. That's right. I do Facebook ads, but it, it only costs me 300 bucks a month. And this is actually a model I have seen over and over and over and over again, patientpop.com. They yeah. Just recently sold to Correo for millions of dollars. What do they sell their main product? Websites. And their whole way they sold the website was instead of $20,000 for a new website for a doctor, it's 600 bucks a month. <laughs> and sure, they threw in like, you know, some reviews and the mo mobile optimized website and all this other silliness. But there are millions of agencies that do exactly this. It's just they pitch it as a $20,000 mega bill versus a $600 a month, you know, easy recurring monthly service bill. And so it's a totally different model. And it's the model that wins. And, and they had upsells, by the way. But yeah. imagine as a doctor, you can say, well, I get all my, you know, online website -y stuff done for 600 bucks a month. That's a lot cheaper than anyone else in town here who's pitching me these crazy expensive websites that I just, I can't afford. So, I mean, I, I would just say that, it, you know, SaaS is the future model. So if you're not on SaaS today, 
um, you know, you're, you're, you know, you can get there quickly. That's the good news, but you, you know, you're behind, like, this is where the world, this is where the, the world is headed. I mean, and, and again, back to boring old businesses like pest control, they've already figured out recurring revenue is the, is the future. And I think what's great about Uphex and the way they've done it is they've taken a really key offering and they've, they've dialed it back from the, you have to offer it as a $2,000 unaffordable, high churn, kind of very laborious, quite frankly, offering to a really great, easy to price, very saleable, very scalable, very churn resistant uh, situation. And it's in, it, it's just an incredible, great combo. And it's very easy to do. And I think quite frankly, it's just how you're going to make money. Like if you want to make bi a business, if you want to make more money, if you want to have high profit, if you want to scale, if you want to have great, good exit values, if you want to raise money, all of these things, you have to do it in the construct of a SaaSpreneur style business. Um, and that's exactly what we're offering. So I think it's a, a great time to get in on. Thank you.